Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and I want you to do something right now. Whatever you're doing, if you're eating, if you're typing away while you're listening to me, listen up, really. Align with your mission and then include women. I might be the only guy out there to tell you this in the community, but I'm gonna fucking do it. Because I know how many guys out there and I don't know how many of you are watching this that have not done this. Align your life first and then include women into it. If you do not align with your mission and then include your woman or women or whoever is in your life, there's a part of you that won't be able to give to her. There's a presence, a part of you that won't be able to fully express. You won't be able to give her the fullest polarity that she could have when you're with her because you haven't found out what it is that you want to do in life. Find out what it is you want to do and then include the lifestyle you want with women. This comes from, of course, David Data. He's somebody that I love, I really look up to, and in following his works, it's done many, many great things to my life, it has. And it will do great things to your life if you are able to take it on as well. The Way of the Superior Man definitely talks about this. It talks about the idea of if you don't align uh, women into your life in the way that they need to, women will be there in positions that they shouldn't be in. <clears throat> when you want sex, she'll want to talk. When you want to talk, she'll want sex. When you need a business partner, she'll want to be a romantic partner. What is it that you want in your life? Align with that Go after that, if it's an art, if it's a new skill, if it's a career that you need to go after, align with that and then include the lifestyle you want with women. Because if you do it the opposite way around, you won't be fulfilling your core. And I felt this. This is a true expression of, of a man who's felt this with uh, women, I have. I remember <clears throat> when I was coming to Budapest, when I was first learning to coach, you know, with James, when I, James was like, all right, you can come to Europe, uh, you can come or not. And I told him I wanted to come. Those last, that last month leading up to that, I was going out less than what I was when I first met him. And the reason why is because I met a girl and I got into an open relationship. And in that open relationship, that's when I noticed this whole thing of, I need to align my life first and then include the woman. I would lay there with her and be, I would feel so fucking happy with her. I would feel like, man, this girl, she's amazing to me. She's so great to me that I don't even want to go out. She's that fucking great. But at the same time, I would lay there, I would feel that, be taken over by that feeling and not go out. And I broke up with her like three or four times because of this. And it was because of me. It was because of me that I didn't go out and I started making her pay. She had to pay for it. And you will do this, you will. Because if you make it that, I want to have a lot of women in my life. That's my mission right now in life. You, That will run out soon. It will run out because you'll get that and then it won't be no stronger reason underneath. It won't be something that keeps you grounded. A better thing to say if you want to is that I want to be able to go out there and to see what women are about. That is a great mission. It is. But the seeing about is the mission, not the woman itself, not the women in itself. Women are great. They're absolutely great to share with. But if you don't have a mission that you're going towards, you won't be able to give her your full presence or your full capacity or your full clarity. You won't be able to. It will be so fucking hard to do this. And you'll try to do this and you'll feel like you're on shaky ground when she asks you questions or if she texts you. Find out what it is you want. Stop the video right now. And I, I, I am, I'm rolling with this. Stop the video right now and I want you to think about what is it that I really want to go after. Just think about it. Give yourself about 10 seconds to really touch your heart, get in touch with it, and figure out what it is that you want in your life. All right, stop the video.
Thank you. Thank you for doing that because it will make a difference in the, in the way women will respond to you. I noticed that when I actually, when I absolutely align my life with my purpose and my mission is to live in a way that I'm able to allow others to open completely with me. Live in a way where when somebody steps into a space with me, they feel love, truth, freedom, and joy. If they can step into that space with me and feel that, I'm in, a, in alignment with my mission in life. And how does that manifest? That manifests that when I'm around women, they can be all they can be. When I'm around my friends, they can really share everything with me and I won't judge them. When I'm helping students, they can be around me and they can say every single thing that they want to say from the darkest, deepest secrets to the part of themselves that they love so much. That's how it manifests. And to the day I die, I'll always be someone that offers that space of openness because I'm always open. My heart hurts a lot because I'm so open but I refuse to close. And that's the space, and that's my mission in life that I'm willing to hold for others. Of course, my mission as far as like tangible is things like making sure that I go through my daily schedule, making sure that I, okay, if I know that I'm gonna do a talk, that I prepare for the talk, uh, I know that I'm coming out with an ebook later this year, so I know doing that uh, every single week will be important to write a chapter. These are things that I know that I must do as far as the tangible things, but the thing that's underneath, that's the real mission, I just told you. That supersedes every single interaction that I go to. If I'm there with a woman and I can feel that she's being dishonest and I can feel that she's withdrawn, I'll give her a chance to not be that. She'll become more open. She'll start revealing things about her that she will say to herself, why am I telling you this? And it's because of the space that I'm offering. I will, I will bring out another video that talks about having a presence that demands certain things so that people can just start doing things in your presence because of no particular reason. And it is because of what's working beneath you. But for now, stay with me. It is up to you and it is, and it is your life that you wanna live if you're going to have the best life that you're gonna have as far as women. It's up to you. If you wanna have the best life, from my advice, me to you, you can take it or not take it, but from a person who absolutely has a successful life and with the things that I wanna do and becoming better and better and better and more powerful and more clear and definitely more heart connected, this is one thing you can do. Align with your mission and then include the lifestyle you want with women. And this is the last point that I'm gonna leave you with. When you are aligning your life with women or aligning your life and then women are getting included, what I want you to do is to make sure that the woman is suitable for the path that you're taking right now. Whatever the thing is that you say you're gonna go after over the next year, make sure the woman is complimentary to that path. If she's not complimentary, she's not the right woman to bring in that situation. I fucked up with this so many times in the past of bringing women into a situation when they absolutely shouldn't have been in that. I know that this is a woman that who will get hurt if she comes into the situation. I did that so many times in the past that recently when I, I broke up with a girl because I knew that if I stayed with her, she would absolutely get hurt. She didn't like it. She did not like the fact that I broke up with her, but I had to because I knew that if I did not break up with this woman, she would be in turmoil. She would absolutely be at the fucking whims of her heart and it'll get broken. It really will. Align with your mission and then include the lifestyle you want with women. If the, if the women that you're meeting are not matched with your lifestyle and they're making your energy for your lifestyle go down, they're not good for you. Let them go. Really. There's so many women out there who want to align with your lifestyle, but you must be clear that this is the thing I'm living out. Every woman that I talk to knows that I am someone who is living out every single day in a deliberate way. I don't apologize for the fact that I'm writing a book, that I'm recording videos, and that I need to be on a schedule that uh, is disciplined. I, I don't apologize for that. I don't. 
I don't apologize that the fact that I'm on a date the other day and the girl says, you know, it's kind of harsh that we can't be friends and we can't just hang out. And I go, no, until you clear up the things in your life first, I don't want to hang out with you, I don't. Because I don't want to be with you and then you kind of feel this way and then you kind of feel this way and you're like, oh, my heart is still with my guy and I don't know what I want to do. No, I don't need that. And yeah, she felt that I was harsh and when she gave me a hug when she walked away, it wasn't a good hug. She was hurt by the situation. But I was clear, and I'm willing to be clear, even to the point of a woman not liking it because she needs my truth. If I bring the wrong woman in that situation, she will not benefit. Every single woman I bring into the situation with me is always I benefit and she benefits. And if both parties are benefiting, it is a healthy relationship, or it's a healthy thing. It's a healthy one night stand. I'm so happy that I can uh, really give you guys this. And I'm so heart connected right now to you that I want to tell you, whoever is watching this video, that once you align your life, man, once you align with your mission, once you align with the thing that you really love, that's not women, once you align with it, and then include the lifestyle that you want with women, I don't care what it is. Just align yourself first and go after something. Because once you do that, the girl, she could uh, like you, love you in so many different ways that you don't know right now. Take my advice, go out there and live out what it is that you want. Whatever mission you have, go after it with ferocity, really. And let women tag along with you and enjoy the ride. This is Sony Solo for The Natural Lifestyles. Subscribe below to SS Solo. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Fucking bad.